This is my second video from the series of texture tutorials. And in this video, I want to show you an exercise that can help you improve your skills in creating and drawing textures. First of all, before we start, let's draw a table. I like to divide it into two equal parts and then divide it into several equal rectangles. Then for the next, I fill each of these rectangles with a special texture. You can start by using the textures you learned in the previous lesson, like hatching, cross-hatching, stippling, and scribbles to warm up your hand and get familiar with the process. Then to fill the next columns, you can get help from your imagination and work on your creativity skills. For example, you can draw random abstract textures. Just go with the flow and let your hand lead the way. It's kind of like doodling. Or you can get inspiration from the patterns and textures you see in nature or in your surroundings. Different types of wood patterns, different stones, leaves, fruits, fabric textures, different materials such as glass, fur, wool, hair, paper, and many other things can be good references for inspiration. They can be good for starters and beginners. I remember this was one of the exercises my teacher asked me to do when I was a student. And I remember that I had prepared a whole set of these columns with different textures and filled a sketchbook with them. You can do this too. I recommend you to have a small pocket sketchbook and prepare and draw these columns in it so that if you see an interesting texture or pattern outside or in nature, try to add it to your collection. You can write some features and visual data that you got by observing an object in front of each column you drew and make a reference manual for yourself. This collection can be very useful for you later as an art tool. On the other hand, it also strengthens your visual skills. Some people like to doodle and fill abstract shapes with different patterns and textures. You can refer to your texture sketchbook when doodling and use it as a reference. I'm using a marker for this exercise in this video, but you can try it with different mediums such as pen, pencil, ink, colored pencil, or whatever you like. You don't need to draw the textures realistically. I think that's optional. You can simplify your patterns and only focus on the general feeling of the quality and texture of that surface or object. The important thing that you need to observe here is that in each rectangle, you should draw your texture as if you're feeling that rectangle from the darkest value to the lightest value. As you can see here in my table, on the left side of my columns, I created my darkest values with more hand pressure or less distance between the patterns. And on the right side, with less hand pressure or more distance between the patterns, I try to create lighter shades. It helps you to get familiar with showing the darkness and lightness of a shape or a volume while you're trying to add texture to your drawing. Where there's more darkness, we see the texture denser and more concentrated. And where there's more light, we see the texture more scattered and more dim with less concentration of the details. Parts of the object that are exposed to more light may not give us a lot of data about the texture of that object, and we will see the surface more flat. The opposite is also true for the parts that are too dark. Okay, so choose a medium and start trying this exercise. I'm sure this exercise can be very relaxing for you. This exercise was a necessary prerequisite for the next step. In the next video, we will discuss the topic of the textures more precisely. I hope you enjoyed this video. I would like to know your opinions in the comments, so please consider sharing. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next one.